are there monday and today is a day when a lot of activity resumed in various parts of the country people were seen going to uh, temples and mosques shopping malls were thrown open in many many areas um clearly very different rules now look as if they're going to be in operation in different parts of the country because we did see just today one of the smallest states in india and a state that has just 42 cases mizoram saying it was reimposing an almost total lockdown once again for another period of two weeks and that after it saw a spike of just uh, eight cases eight fresh cases and mizoram said it's going to lock down again almost completely so that's at the one end and on the other end we have some of the states that are seeing the maximum number of cases and there well it seems to be a somewhat different picture take maharashtra for example which has today overtaken the officially stated coronavirus count in china the maharashtra was an independent country it would be now something like number 17 or number 18 in the coronavirus this is overtaken the officially reported not everyone believes the data but the officially reported numbers from china and we've been seeing these pictures from maharashtra where people are walking on the marine drive and now with the monsoons coming who knows what's going to happen delhi of course another place which we've been talking about may well become one of the biggest hotspots in the next two or three weeks because the growth rate is more than five percent in delhi and the absolute number of cases are very high and yet virtually all restrictions have been lifted in delhi and in delhi another big problem which is continuing to happen is the question around is everyone really being tested if they want to and the answer is no if you're not symptomatic you can't get tested in, in delhi and perhaps the biggest symbol of what is happening in some of these big very troubled areas around coronavirus was the fact that today the delhi chief minister arvind kejriwal says he's unwell um, and he's going to be probably getting a coronavirus test let's just quickly bring you up to date with all the big stories A day after Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal announced that hospitals run by the Delhi government and some private hospitals will be reserved for residents of the capital, the Lieutenant Governor has overruled the decision. Everyone will be treated in Delhi, Lieutenant Governor Anil Bejal has said, stating in an order that treatment should not be denied to any patient on grounds of being a non-resident. On Sunday, Arvind Kejriwal had said that the 10,000 beds in Delhi government hospitals would be reserved for residents while beds in central government run hospitals can be used by all. The Delhi government on Sunday announced setting up of 24/7 help desks in each of its hospitals to facilitate admissions of needy patients. A 24/7 help desk will be set up at all hospitals to ensure smooth and hassle-free admission of patients. The help desk will function in two shifts of 12 hours each and consist of two officers of the Delhi government. One constable will be posted on duty during night hours. The hospitals concerned will provide suitable space and required seating arrangements for officers deployed at these help desks and the hospital administration should extend all cooperation to these officers the subdivisional magistrate will be responsible for monitoring the overall functioning of help desks Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has self-isolated himself after mild fever since Sunday reports said Kejriwal according to media reports has mild fever and he will be tested for COVID-19 on Tuesday for now the chief minister has cancelled all his engagements and is not meeting anyone Delhi has seen a sharp spike in coronavirus cases in the last few days amid relaxation of lockdown curbs A crucial meeting of the State Disaster Management Authority will be held on Tuesday on the COVID-19 situation in Delhi and to discuss whether there has been community spread. Delhi Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sisodia said if participant experts say there is community spread in the capital, the government's strategy will change. Meeting hogi SDMA ki aur us pe experts ke sath mein charcha hogi aur agar ye hota hai ki कम्युनिटी स्प्रेड हुआ है अगर एस में बैठ के एक्सपर्ट्स की राय से ये तय होता है तो फिर पूरी की पूरी स्ट्रेटेजी दिल्ली में कोरोना से लड़ने के लिए बदलनी होगी Delhi is about to touch the 30,000 mark in coronavirus cases. The SDMA or State Disaster Management Authority is the key body involved in decision making during any crisis. It is headed by the Lieutenant Governor, whose deputy is the Chief Minister. Tracing the chain of transmission, officially called contact tracing, is considered one of the best methods of keeping the spread of the infection under control. But in the community spread stage, it becomes impossible to trace the chain of transmission, making it impossible to trace and isolate the patients.
The number of coronavirus cases in the national capital is nearing the 29,000 mark with 1,282 fresh infections on Sunday. The death toll from the virus has climbed to over 800 with 51 deaths reported on Sunday, health bulletin issued by the Delhi government said. The Delhi government has asked the private hospitals identified for the purpose of treating COVID-19 patients to provide their schedule of charges for treatment of the virus. With record spikes in new COVID-19 cases daily, Maharashtra crossed China in total coronavirus cases on Sunday. According to the Public Health Department of the Government of Maharashtra, the state had 85,975 confirmed cases of COVID-19 as of June 7. In comparison, China had 84,191 confirmed cases as of Sunday, as per data by Johns Hopkins University. Within Maharashtra, Mumbai alone accounted for nearly 57 percent of 48,774 of the total confirmed cases in the state, followed by Thane at a distant second with 13,014 cases. After remaining indoors for nearly 80 days due to coronavirus-induced lockdown, Mumbaikers came out in large numbers to jog, walk and exercise this weekend. An image of a crowded marine drive jam-packed with people enjoying a leisurely stroll has gone viral on social media. The picture was posted by an Instagram user, Niharika Kulkarni, who captioned it as huge crowd at marine drive in the evening. Though people can be seen wearing masks, there seems to be no caution about maintaining social distancing norms. Crowds were also seen at other popular places like Juhu Bandra Bandstand, Pavai Lake Promenade, beaches on Sunday morning. The Maharashtra government has allowed outdoor activities across the state from June 3rd from 5 a.m. to 7 p.m. as part of Unlock One. The West Bengal government on Monday announced that it is extending lockdown in the state due to COVID-19 pandemic till the end of this month. The announcement came hours after shopping malls, restaurants and other establishments reopened in the state as part of Unlock One in the fifth phase of nationwide lockdown aimed at curbing the spread of COVID-19 in the country. It was immediately not clear whether the West Bengal government will implement Unlock 1.0 measures or withdraw them after announcing an extension in the lockdown till June 30th. As of June 8th, West Bengal has reported 4,488 cases and 396 deaths. Mizoram will be extending quarantine and lockdown by another two weeks. The decision was taken at a consultative meeting chaired by Chief Minister Zoram Thanga with ministers, health officials, churches and NGOs to discuss the present situation of COVID-19 spread and future course of action to tackle the coronavirus pandemic. In view of the prevailing condition, lockdown guidelines will be notified soon. Period of quarantine, which currently is 14 days, has been extended to 21 days with immediate effect, said the Mizoram government. The decision comes after Mizoram today reported eight fresh COVID-19 cases, taking the total number of infections in the state to 42. India on Monday reported the highest single-day spike with 9,983 new COVID-19 cases, taking the total number of cases to 2.56 lakhs. 206 deaths were reported in the last 24 hours. Out of the over 7,000 cases, Maharashtra tops the tally with 3,060 deaths, followed by Gujarat, Delhi, Madhya Pradesh, West Bengal and Uttar Pradesh. India's top four metros, Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata and Chennai, account for nearly half of the nationwide COVID-19 tally. Along with the metros, the three other major urban clusters badly hit by the COVID-19 pandemic are Ahmedabad, Indore and Pune.